What's going on everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I wanted to make a quick tutorial video showing you how you can transfer assets from a centralized exchange such as Coinbase and go into the Pulse Chain network and one of the faster, easier methods. So in this video, we're gonna be good discussing exactly that. We're gonna start off by logging into Coinbase. This is going to be where you're going to buy two tokens, USDC and Ethereum. First, I'm going to do $50 in this scenario. Go ahead and preview this purchase. And go ahead and accept that. So it's been submitted. All right, the second token we need is going to be Ethereum. So we're going to go ahead and come back in here. And in this scenario, I'm just going to do another $50. This should actually cover multiple transactions, unlike the Ethereum network, where you can't really do much. Perfect. Next, if you don't already have your wallet address, you are going to want to open up your MetaMask. Now, one of the first things that we are going to do in here is just simply copy over this address for now. I will show you how to connect that same address into uh, Arbitrum Network in just a moment. We're going to transfer. I'm actually going to send the crypto at, outside to a separate address. We have $50 available, so we'll just go ahead and select max on this one. This is going to the Arbitrum network. It is free in order to transact and actually send USDC over into Arbitrum. And we're just going to paste the address that we just copied a moment ago. Now we're going to go ahead and send this right on through. It is free, as I stated just a moment ago, so you don't have to worry about paying for any of the fee. Now that's free just sending from USDC to the Arbitrum network, by the way, just keep that in mind. So we're going to come down here to the Ethereum side, simply click on send. In this scenario, we're going to be sending the $47. Again, there are some fees included when sending the ETH, uh, but again, it's only 80 cents. We're going to go back and copy that same address. We just sent that a minute ago. So yes, that is the one. Again, I'm going to do max and just do a preview send. All right, that is done. I've now sent my USDC and my Ethereum over into the Arbitrum wallet. Again, the wallet address is the same. You wanna make sure that you send it through the Arbitrum network. And this is the Arbitrum one network. So we now need to add the Arbitrum network inside of MetaMask so we can see that same transaction. So when you go to your MetaMask network, you can actually add a network right here and simply select on add. This is the Arbitrum one network we will be using. This is the information and we're gonna go ahead and switch. You're gonna notice that we now have $46.87 worth of Ethereum. We do, you cannot see the USDC as it is currently not showing in here. But if you are wanting to add it, you can go into the Arbiscan website. This is just like the Etherscan website. It allows you to simply type in the token that you're looking for. In this scenario, we can type in USDC and you can see it's gonna pop up right here. This is the page that we're currently on and you can then copy over the contract address by selecting this and add it inside of the network. We're gonna click import tokens and simply add a contract address. It imports all the information automatically, USDC, token decimal six, and we're gonna go ahead and say it shows a balance of $50.11. Perfect. Now that we can see our USDC and our Ethereum, the next step is to go ahead and send this information to Pulse Chain. Now we do that via sparkswap.xyz. You can go into the website and simply select on over here where it says bridge. When I select bridge, it's going to ask me to go ahead and connect the wallet. In this scenario, we do want to go ahead and connect our MetaMask wallet as well, or the treasure device. So we're going to go ahead and select connect. Now we do show a balance of 50 USDC and we can actually send it from the Arbitrum network directly over into the Pulse Chain network into any of these tokens. You can do Pulse, Spark, DAI, or SDAI. 
and or US Dex Plus. And they're all available to you. Keep in mind some of them on larger orders may give you a better execution. So check out which one's gonna provide you with the best execution. In this case, I do just wanna go directly into the pulse price on this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select a max of the $50. This will give me an estimate of 344,999. We do need to go ahead and approve the USDC contract in order to be spent. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a limit of 51 in this scenario to just essentially limit the ability just in case something ever goes wrong. This is going to cost me roughly around 74 cents to transact. I can go ahead and select on allow. And this is where you're gonna go ahead and enter your information. We're gonna go ahead and select on confirm to agree to the transaction on this one. Once that is completed, we actually are going to get the approval right here and then we will still need to send. Now again, all of this is possible and I can now click on send right here. We are sending the 50 USDC. It's being sent and being converted into Pulse automatically. The estimate on this one's gonna be roughly around $2 to actually get the transaction completed. And I simply go ahead and agree to these transactions next. Now that we have sent our USDC over into Pulse Chain, we still have a wallet with Ethereum inside it. So again, this wallet, you can see that whole transaction costs roughly around $2 to complete. That was, we'll say $5 because of the fee from Ethereum and Coinbase and moving it over. So roughly around $5 to complete. But now I have sent over my tokens, my USDC, over into the Pulse network. I decided to purchase Pulse Chain with it. You can decide whatever token that you would like to do. After the bridge is completed, we can actually go back inside of the MetaMask and see that this wallet is now sitting on 348,821 PLS. Don't mind the USD value as it's incorrect on on MetaMask, but you can actually go into another website called dbank.com. You can see this wallet is sitting on 348,821 with the value of $49.36. And again, I still have roughly around $45 of Ethereum sitting inside of the Arbitrum wallet. Overall, that process may have taken 10 to 15 minutes to complete. I didn't have to wait very long. Uh, again, it only cost two to five dollars in order to actually send all of the transactions that's going from coinbase over to arbitrum from arbitrum over into pulse chain hope you found this helpful if you do smash the like share this out and i'll catch you on the next one peace I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be